Hi everyone, I'm Steve from Stony Creek Wine Press and this video is part 3 of our series on Label Maker Pro. For this segment, I'll be giving an overview of working with images, including how to add images, image sizing, and fine-tuning them using cropping, filters, and adjustment controls. Let's go ahead and get started. Images can be added to any label design, whether you're starting a new design from scratch or using one of our design templates. Simply click the Add Image button from the toolbar to create a new image object, or if you're using a design template, you can also select any image in the design and then click the Replace Image button. You can then choose a new image either from our image gallery or by uploading your own image file from your device or social media account. If you're looking for a high quality stock image, our image gallery offers a searchable library of free, high quality photos courtesy of our friends at Pexels.com. You can also source your own stock images if you prefer, just be sure to purchase the appropriate license for any stock image you use. Unlicensed images will typically include a watermark from the stock image provider that indicates the image isn't permitted for print use. If you choose to upload your own image file, one of the most important things to remember is the image's resolution. Resolution is just a fancy way of saying how large the image is. The higher an image's resolution, the larger it can be printed without a noticeable loss in image quality. You'll see that in this label I've added two different versions of the same image. Can you spot which one is of lower resolution? That's right. While the one on the left looks clear and sharp, the other one looks blurry and will stick out like a sore thumb. If you're not sure if the resolution of your image is too low, go ahead and add it to your label anyways. When the image is selected, you'll see a warning on the side if the resolution is too low, at which point you can either choose a different image, or shrink the image to a smaller size on your label. Once you've added an image, you can adjust the image's size and cropping amount using the scale and zoom sliders in the tools panel. You can also drag the control points on the sides and corners of the image for even more control over the image's shape and size. If you'd like to specify the exact dimensions for an image, you can do so by typing the dimensions into the width and height fields at the bottom of the layers panel. This is a great trick to use if you're trying to match the size and shape of two different images or objects in your label. Lastly, let's take a look at our image adjustment options. You'll find several image filters to choose from in the Image Filters menu of the Tools panel. These are great for giving your image a more vintage look. To fine tune an image even further, click on the Adjustments button to see a full range of image adjustment sliders. You'll be amazed at how a simple contrast or saturation boost can improve the look of your photos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified of future videos in this series.